Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're supposed to say wa alaikum wa salam. And then? Why are you going to give someone only one reward? Don't you want the full reward? So wa alaikum wa salam. Yes. So when you say assalamu alaikum, Allah gives you 10 rewards. 10? Yes. And when you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi, you get 20, double. And then when you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, you get 30. So isn't that worth it? Just by yeah. saying one extra word, you get 10 more. Say one more extra word, you get another 10 more. Okay. So today's lesson will be on, what is it going to be on? Two. Two, no, it's going to be on Jannah. Jannah. Yes. Who knows what Jannah is? Hmm? What's Jannah? Jannah is a place very, very... Um... What is the translation of Jannah in English? What does Jannah mean? What is Castle it? Castle will be seen. What does it mean, Aisha? Ibrahim? It, it, it means that Allah... What is Jannah? It's paradise. Hello? Jannah is paradise. <laughs> Okay, Jannah is paradise. Okay. okay, what's paradise? paradise? What do you know about paradise? Paradise, yeah, you got the best thing you have, Kaji. You have yeah. Kaji. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what do you have? Give me Kaji. Stay back. And and what you like is it's gonna be just right in front of you. Okay, so whatever you want, Allah will put in front of you. What else do you know about Jannah? Any yeah. of you? Just journey. Yeah, I got cake. You got chocolate. No, 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 no. And, and it's very, it's very big. It's, it's the most gigantic one. Okay. So most let me explain biggest. to you how big Jannah is. Okay. Now the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. It's a hundred times. That the worst Muslim, yeah, the worst Muslim will get a Jannah. Let me show you how big. Okay. So again, let's give you another example because if you missed the last lesson. Right now, we live in a city called London, yeah? Are you right? We already know that and there's a little Oh, street. you know that. So, let me explain to you one thing. One second. So, in London, let's say this is London, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, London has many little areas, yeah? Mm -hmm. It has like hundreds of different little areas. We live inside one of those areas. So, we're like a really tiny dot. Yeah? Each of these little dots yeah you've got houses you've got streets inside those streets there are houses now each of these streets are worth millions of pounds do you understand each of these houses are worth half a million some of them are worth millions of pounds and if your mummy and papa work their whole life if they work the whole life. their whole life yeah going in the morning nine to five monday to friday five days a week yeah even you when you go to work the most you can make yeah the most you can do is buy how many houses maybe one house maybe two house maybe Me. three house if you're very lucky yeah if if we if if we have like a million pound we get to maybe if we're very very lucky we can buy 10 houses yes so if you're very rich very and you work very hard maybe you can buy 10 houses yeah so we make a hundred so, houses so inside this london you have the areas inside the areas you have the streets so let's say the dots are streets inside those little dots you've got the houses yeah so let's say even if you become super duper rich you work super duper hard and you buy one whole street let's say you buy you know 30 40 houses yeah now let me tell you what you're gonna get in general compared to what you can get on earth in this world yeah for 60 to 70 years of this life so this is london and this is the areas we talked about. Now let's see what London is compared to the United Kingdom. So remember, United Kingdom is, what is it's it? It's a very small place. It's a small island, yeah? So this part, let's say, is England, yes? So this is the United Kingdom, a little island there, that's Ireland, yeah? Now compare Ireland to the whole Earth, yes? The whole Earth. So, remember we told you Ireland, uh, the United Kingdom 
is a tiny place, England, inside England. There's a city called London. London. Inside London, there are different boroughs, hundreds of boroughs. Inside those areas of boroughs, you have the streets. And inside those streets, let's say you're a multi-multi-millionaire. You're really rich and you own one street. That's still one tiny little dot inside that dot inside that dot. Yeah? And then you've got the earth, you've got all the... Uh, what continents did I tell you last time? What are the different continents? Orient. You have America. Oh, yeah, America, South America, South. North Pole. North Pole. Africa. Africa. Europe. Yeah? Turkey. Turkey, yeah, Turkey somewhere there. Turkey's still small compared to the whole earth as well. So, mm. no one rules the whole world. But you know, there are people who are kings and queens. So they're more richer than maybe a really rich person. So let's say the king of England. Yeah? He's a, no. the king of, or the queen of England. So yeah. let's say even if she thinks that she owns this much. Yeah? That's still very small, isn't it? Compared to the earth. Even though she doesn't own it, but she rules over it. Do you know what rules over means? Meaning she runs everything that happens inside. Same with America. Now one of the biggest countries is America. Of course, Russia is another big country. Russia is the biggest country in the world in terms of mass size. But let's say America, the most powerful country, some say. So let's say America. Why the president, are you? The president of America. The, the president of America. He controls all. Size. He controls all of America. That's a big part of the earth, isn't it? He's giving yes. me like... And underwear. some say he's the most powerful person on earth that looks like the underwear. president of america yeah so some say he's the most powerful person on earth now let me tell you compared the to the earth yeah the, underwear. the worst muslim are you listening yeah. the worst muslim not the best not the good muslim not the medium not even the 10 percent muslim i'm talking the worst maybe he's one percent muslim he's less than one percent muslim that he's so tiny, he's so tiny Muslim He does so many bad things He always does bad things But the only thing he does Is that he has a little bit of belief That I believe in Allah Maybe that's all he has He does so many bad things all the time He doesn't pray namaz, he doesn't read Quran He doesn't do nothing And when he dies When he dies He's going to have to go to Hell To hell, yeah He's going to have to go to hellfire for some time Maybe thousands of years Maybe millions of years And then when his sins are forgiven because of the punishment in Jahannam, in hell, then he's going to be given, go to, he's going to go to Jannah. Now, when he goes to Jannah, everybody would have gone to Jannah. All the, all the good Muslims, all the medium Muslims, all the 5% Muslims. He's going to be the last person to go to Jannah. Yeah? So he's going to go to Jannah. He's going to say, oh my God, all the Jannahs are gone. All the Jannahs are finished. Everybody's taken a Jannah. What do I do, Allah? Where's my Jannah? And of course, don't forget, he's the worst Muslim, yeah? So, Allah is going to give him a Jannah 10 times the size of the earth. What? The narrations could be the size of the universe, you size know, of like the a, galaxy, like size, of the, size of the solar. We don't know, but we're let's say minimum fat size pants. of the earth. So, yeah, the earth, when we said this is the earth, yeah? So... The worst Muslim will own, it will be his, only his, 10 times the size of this whole world. Yeah? So remember the world had all the countries, America, Africa, yeah? Europe, United Kingdom. You see that little dot? That's like United Kingdom. That's our island where we live in. That yeah? doesn't look like a dot. It's like a... Okay, so dot is so small. It's an island. Yeah? Inside the island is England, inside England is London, inside London there's a little street and in that street we live in the house. Yeah, so, so tiny that is and we can never own, no matter how much you work hard, you will never be able to own even more than a road maybe. Or maybe more, even more than a city. Yeah, but Allah is going to give the worst Muslim, how big? How big a Jannah? Ten times the size of the whole world. 10 times so if you're if you're let's say if you're a medium muslim you might get you might get a hundred times bigger you might get a thousand times bigger i can't even fit that inside the board yeah so if you're even an average muslim even if you're just just you know a little bit of a good muslim or you're you're just 
across the 50% mark of the examination, when Allah tests you, even then you're going to get 100 times or 1000 times the size of the whole world will be yours. You are owner. You people listening, every Muslim will be owner. Even if you're a child, you are the owner of at least 100 times the size of the whole world. Can you imagine that? Don't you think that's amazing? Huh? That's so amazing. That's amazing. What do you think, Aisha? Amazing. Huh? Don't, don't you don't you want to be, have a big castle, have a big princess castle? Yeah. And don't you want to be able to fly? <gasps> yeah. Don't you want to? Don't you see all these superheroes and you think, oh, I wish I was that superhero and I could do 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 do. And I could no, do all those things. No, no, yeah? Shazam is the strongest. So that's Shazam. just the size of your Jannah, yeah. So just if I was to give you an example, so this is your size of Jannah. You know, you play games. Mm -hmm. You play fighting games. You play shooting games. You play mm -hmm. football games. Yeah, and you play fl flying games, you play princess games, yeah. So in your Jannah, you can have different areas where you play different games. Because it's your Jannah. And just like in Jannah, in, in a game, you know when you play PlayStation or you play Xbox, yeah? So you play with what? What do you play with? Yeah. You play with a... You play with a... Remote control. Remote control, yeah? But in Jannah, you don't need a remote control. You can play inside the game. I want to play inside the game. Yeah. What do you think, Aisha? Yeah. If you can be inside the game, inside the cartoon, inside that world, and you could fly like Spider-Man. Oh, no, Spider-Man doesn't fly. Sorry. What does he do? He, he swings. Yeah. He's, yeah. So you've gone from one building to another building, or you can be Superman. Aisha, what do you want to be? Wonder Woman. I want to you be, be Wonder Sam. Woman. So Sam. you can be... Anything you want in Jannah, you can fly, you can do all sorts of things. And mm. in Jannah, <laughs> in this world, if you eat too much cakes, what's your favorite food, Ibrahim? Cake. What's I'm, your... I'm, 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 I mean, I mean, my favorite food is banana. Banana? No, no. Tell me your favorite food, not something that's healthy, not because of what we've transformed his brain to sort of just make him hate Crips. sugar. Crips. But what's your favorite food that is bad for you? Crips. No, tell me your favorite food that's bad for you. Candy. See, we've programmed our children to make them hate sugary stuff. So that's why they're kind of saying that, you know. I'm cake. So cake, yeah. Cake is your favorite. What's your favorite ice cream? Ice cream? Candy. Ice cream, chocolate, sweets. What is it? Jellies. Everything. Yeah. So what happens if you eat too much cake? No, just, you, 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 you get no, fat. No, I, no, I just want one piece of cake. Huh? One piece of cake. Okay, what happens if you eat five whole cakes? Oh, you would be a fat as you'd a monkey. you fat and you'd be get diabetes, you get illness, you get disease, you vomit, you're gonna, you won't be able to go to the toilet properly, you'll have stomach problems, yeah? And they'll have to give you injections because you get diabetes and whatnot, yeah? Your insulin will go too high, you're not listening. So, what do you eat, Aisha? What's your favourite? Candy. Candy. So, let's say if someone gave you a whole swimming pool full of candy and then you ate that candy, what's going to happen? Get Ill. You're gonna probably die because you eat too much candy. Yeah. So if you eat too much good things in in this world, then bad things happen to you. But in Jannah, you can eat and eat and eat and eat. You can eat ten swimming pools full of sweets. You can eat a mountain Ew, full of. No. You can you can eat a cake the size of a mountain, the size of a house, the size of a park. No. Yeah. And do you know what's going to happen after you've eaten it? You won't feel no stomach ache. You won't feel sick. You won't get fat. Yeah. And in Jannah, you get to change your face. You get to change your body. So if you want muscles like this, maybe not that big. But yeah, if you want to be Iron Man, if you want to be Superman, you want to have big muscles, you can have muscles. If you want to be a princess and you want long hair, you want to change it to brown, you want to change it to blonde, you want to change it to green. I don't know. What's your favorite? What color would you change it to? Pink. Eee. Okay, so whatever I color you want to change pink. yourself to, you can change your eye, you can change your, your hair, you can change your body, you can become big, as tall as a giant, you can become as small as a mouse and go hide somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So in Jannah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah? And no one's going to tell you what to do. There's going to be no mummy and papa, there's going to be no teacher, no school, no madrasa. Yay. You can do what you want, you can do when you want. And you can do how you want. And no one's going to tell you off. Because that's what Jannah is. But what about if we do backwards? 
there's there's no bad thing. You won't, you won't feel like doing bad things. You'll just feel like doing fun things. Yeah. So like for example, some people like to play these games where they play shooting games. You know, a lot of boys like to play shooting games. They go inside these arenas and then they call their friends. Let's play. You know, with the with the shooting game. So in Jannah, you can be inside the game and you can call your friends from different Jannahs and they can come to your. To. So you can have a little area. You can have a little area inside the Jannah. This is my fighting area where you go and you fight. And even if you kill someone, they don't die. It just go, it's a game, isn't it? So it just goes as a pointer. So they get points and you lose points if you lose. And because it's your Jannah, you can also do some cheats. Wink, wink. Okay. So there's a lot of things you can do in Jannah, which are so amazing. Don't you think Jannah is amazing? Yeah. And how long do you stay in Jannah? For thousands, billions, thousand millions, years? Okay. trillions. So, no, so a thousand years is three zeros. Yeah. How long do we live in this world? How long do we live in this world? The maximum. Who lived no. two hundred years? <laughs> Which Chinese man are you talking about? No. What? How long do we live in this world? What's the What's the oldest person in this world? Allah. No. And no, he's not a person. Allah's not a person. He's the creator. He's the sustainer. Mm. He's He's too big for us to imagine. But the oldest human being is, let's say. The most usually a person will live is a hundred years. Yeah, a hundred years is two zeros. Yeah. No, so, it can't be a hundred years. So in Jannah, so in Jannah, Allah is telling you, do what I say in these hundred years in this life. That's if you're lucky. A lot of people die when they're sixty. A lot of people die when they're fifty, forty, ten, even five. People, if you go to the graveyard, and this is why it's important to go to the graveyard. And you'll see children. Sometimes a baby is just born and it dies. One day old, one minute old, not even one second old sometimes. It dies inside the stomach. So a person can die anytime. But let's say, let's say you're going to live a hundred years. Yeah, that's the maximum. That's the big number. Yeah. So a hundred years in Jannah, are you going to live a thousand years? Yeah. Huh? Are you going to live a thousand years in Jannah? No. Ten times more than this world? No. How long? What about... Ten thousand. What about ten thousand years? No. Are you gonna live ten thousand world no. years? What about a hundred thousand years? No. Huh? No. No. What about what about what number is this? What's oh. after a hundred thousand? What about a million years? No. no. Yeah. Are you gonna live a million years in general? No. A million. Are you gonna live a million years? No. Huh? No. No. You can times this by another million and even that isn't the right amount of time. Because in Jannah, you're going to live more than this. In Jannah, you're going to live more than a million years, more than a billion years, more than a trillion years, more than a zillion years. <laughs> Why? Because it's never going to end. So for how long are you going to enjoy yourself? You're going to keep enjoying yourself again and again, again and again, again for again, years again, and decades again, and, again, again, and, and centuries and, and millenniums will go past and you'll keep enjoying but yourself. Then, but then you're going to get tired. Oh, I knew someone was going to ask me that question. Okay, <laughs> so in Jannah, should I tell you another secret? Then in Jannah, you're, well, it's not a you'll never sleep. You, in, you, you never need to go to the toilet. You, you're never going to feel tired. Okay, so in Jannah, you never need to go to the toilet. See? You never need to go to sleep. You See? never get tired. You just have fun and fun and fun and fun and go crazy. And you, you think that your head is going to explode because you're having so much fun, but it'll never end. Okay, let me give you another thing now. Now, some people say when you're having fun. Yeah, we can go shopping. Yeah, of course. So in Jannah. Now, then they're going to get lost. Well, of course, you've got a Jannah 100 Wait, times. Then they're going to get lost. If you get lost, you just fly up into the sky because you can fly, isn't it? Yeah. You fly up into the sky and say, Oh yeah, there's my house. There's my palace. Yeah. So you'll be able to see your palace. You'll know everything because it's your Jannah. Jannah is going to be perfect. So you'll know everything about your Jannah. Do you know how you're going to know? Yeah. Magic. Allah is going to make you know everything about your Jannah because of magic. Allah is going to make magic for you. You're going to think something. So let's say if you get lost, Aisha, in your Jannah, because it's too big. It's, it's a thousand times bigger than this world. And you get lost because you've been exploring all the mango trees and you've been going flying around different places. So what are you going to do then if you get lost? I'll cry. You don't have to. You can't cry in Jannah because you're always having fun. So you know what you'll do? You'll just think to yourself, 
I want to go back to my palace. And do you know what's going to happen? <laughs> Within a second, you're going to be back in your palace, sitting in your little bed, swirling in the air, flying in the air. Yeah, yeah? Bye, and all these people are gonna, gonna, all these people are gonna come and give you, all your servants are gonna come and give you, give you sweets and chocolate and say, oh, are you, are you tired? Oh, oh, do you want something to eat? Do you want something to drink? Do you want some milkshake? Do you want some? What's your favorite milkshake? What's your favorite drink? Orange juice. Juice. Orange juice, or or Fanta or Coca Cola. These things are bad in this world. They give you sugar and they make you diabetic. Yeah, they give you all sorts of bad stomach. Yeah, but in Jannah yeah. you can swim inside Coca Cola. You can swim in a swimming pool full of it, of milkshake and chocolate and honey and I all sorts of things it. you want. Of course you can. You can you can finish all of it. But, but you're it will, get fat. You never get fat in Jannah. Yeah. Okay. Now one more thing I wanted to mention that in Jannah, in this world, let me let me give you another yeah, example. But I want to sleep in Jannah. Oh, so you can. You can say if you. If some people enjoy sleeping. Some people say I didn't sleep in this world. You kept sending me to school, so. And I work too much, so I want to sleep. So some people will be able to sleep. If you want to sleep, you can sleep in a in an amazing bed, the most beautiful, comfortable, uh, swirling bed in the sky, on top of a cloud, if you want to, with a nice air coming breeze, and you're just sleeping, no one to disturb you, no noise, nothing. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Okay. So now one more thing. In this world, if you play a game, yeah. What's your favorite game? Of red ball. Red ball is like a red ball and it jumps. And it jumps. And, okay. What's your favorite ball, uh, a game? What do you Princess. like playing? So you like playing princess games. So let's say if I tell you you can play with the red ball and you can play with the princess game for ten hours. What's gonna happen? Your eyes will go bad. Your eyes might go bad. Or what's gonna happen after even one hour? What's gonna happen to your brain? You, you, you will get crazy. No, you will get bored. You say, I'm just so bored now of playing. You know when you play too much game, or you go to the park too much, or you play too much football, or you watch too much stuff, yeah? Or you watch too much even phone. Now the people watch phones all the time, which is really bad for their brains. But let's say if you do that for one hour, two hours, what happens? You get bored. You're like, I don't feel like doing it anymore. But in Jannah, do you know what the magic thing is? Mm. You never get bored. The enjoyment doesn't finish. The enjoyment and the happiness, it just goes on and on and on. And you never get sad. You know, in this world, sometimes you're playing, you, you get hurt. Yeah? You hurt your hand, you hurt your leg. Yeah? And you have to stop playing. But in general, you never get hurt. You never need to have breaks. And you never get bored of playing. Because your Jannah is 100 thousand times bigger than the earth sometimes well, wait, we're gonna so you never it. get bored well what about can we see ngtv in life of course you can be inside ngtv I don't want although to. we shouldn't but anyway in general you probably wouldn't want to think of that because you've got such an amazing world full of games and enjoyment and fun ngtv is it's going to be a gen is going to be hundred thousand times bigger than that and hundred thousand times i want to go inside the princess game not only bigger but it's going to be hundred thousand million times better. I'm going inside the princess. Yeah, it's going. To, so all the princess castles you see on on TV, the princess castles you see on on I don't know on YouTube. Yeah, Jannah is going to be thousand times bigger, million times bigger, and million times better. Not just bigger, but better and shiny and and golden and beautiful. It's is your your if you saw Jannah, if you saw Jannah now, yeah. With your little eyes and your big eyes, if you saw Jannah, do you know what would happen? Your head would explode. That's how beautiful it is. And, and, and you would die. Yeah, that's how beautiful Jannah is. But, but then in Jannah, we will die oh, too. Okay, maybe I went in the wrong direction. So, so yeah, in Jannah, you will never die, okay? You just have enjoyment forever and ever. You enjoy yourself. You eat what you want, do what you want. So, don't you want to go to this Jannah? Yeah. Yeah? Don't you want to uh, make Allah happy? Yeah. So Allah gives you this Jannah? Yeah. Yeah? Now one final thing we want to talk about, about Jannah. Uh, and, and, and if we say, one final Allah, thing. Please can okay. I be painted? Okay. And, uh, and Allah okay, let me, let me finish now. Let me finish. Okay. So one final thing you got to understand about Jannah. 
there are levels in Jannah. Oh yes? yeah, oh, oh yeah, up to six. No, no, there's more than six. The hadith mentions that there are 100 levels in Jannah. So the worst Muslim, move back. The worst Muslim will be right down here and he'll have 10 times the size of this world. Remember, I told you, 10 times the earth. And the biggest Jannah, the best Jannah is, remember I mentioned to you what was the name of that best Jannah? What is it? Jannatul Firdaus, the best Jannah. So this is going to be level, if this is level one, and that's the worst Jannah, we sh you shouldn't say worst, but it's the lowest Jannah. What level is this? That's level one, this is thousand. level 100. Okay, I told you there's 100 levels. Yeah? yeah, so the more good deeds you do, the more nice things you do, the more you pray Quran, the more you read your nama, your salah, the more you do good things to good people, you the more you listen to your parents, yeah, the more you do zikr, the more you make dua, the more you go to the masjid, the more you help people, yeah, it's not just about praying, it's not just about reading Quran, it's also about listening to your parents, being good to people and helping people, so Allah will give you the more good deeds you do, the more higher you will get. You don't want... Oopsie.